Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the gameplay of Ori and the Blind Forest Definitive Edition. Likely going to be the last episode of this game, maybe? I mean, uh, we just need to restore Manhoru and find ourselves the rest of the blue quote-unquote onions around Black Red Barrows and Moon Grotto. Uh, which is, by the way, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that right now. Right click, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Alright. So, uh, as usual, um, before moving on to Mount Horu, gonna want to expect a little bit of uh, jump cuts and such uh, when it comes to me exploring this area in order to um, figuring out what I missed around here. Let's see first. Okay, um. I had something in mind that uh, one of that area would involve my visit around Thornfeld Swamp, but I wasn't sure about that. Hold on. Excuse me. There was a little bit of the grey area on this part and uh, I forgot where it was actually. You know what? Maybe rather than me thinking about that, I'd say I'd rather just... Uh, Give this area a really, really good uh, view. I, I, I recall I already got this one uh, figured out. Uh, this one was already done that as well. Oh yeah, this one, this one, this one. Uh, which means I gotta want to really want to go through the lasers and all that stuff. Uh, well, this gotta be fun. Actually, that was the part of that light torch actually, so I don't think that's it actually the part. Yeah. It's gonna take the area a little bit of a good look before I go there. Since we're already here and all that stuff, so I may as well uh, think about stuff. But then, noticing the statues though, <laughs> they're just fun little resembles Narukai. It's pretty sweet actually. Okay, I'm not willing to deal with you that much. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think there's anything that much there. Wait a second, this spot here, wait, is it? Kinda dark than that actually, oh my god, it is this part. You bastard, holy crap, it is that part after all. Alright, Black Root Barrow's done, next up, Moon Grotto. Man, I'm gonna like, miss this place eventually. Uh, I mean, not eventually, I mean, really gonna miss this one with the hollow platforms and stuff. Not gonna, uh, I don't think we're gonna see that uh, anytime soon. Oh, wait, no, 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 not that one. 
Save first. And then we jump into Mangrodo. Let's see. Uh, yeah. Wait. Alright. Uh, around Mungrodo, I kind of have a hunch that uh, there is this part uh, up here that uh, just basically gets windy and all that stuff. Oh yeah, also, um, before I proceed, I'm actually curious about an achievement that I think... Wait, no. I just want to save. Should be doable around those uh, trap, uh, trap parts and such. Uh, what with those anvils and such is what I'm saying. Nah, the beetles I think is way too uh, smart when it comes to that. <laughs> Whoa, that fellow hits hard. Actually. Since this thing is here, I was thinking that this crosser might be able to cross this uh, poor beetle, if I can do that. Yep, just like that is what I'm in. Crushing blow. I feel bad for that beetle, not gonna lie, but... Uh, I'm just gonna say it's anything for the achievement. Quite a way to restore the balance too, so... Let's put it that way. Oh yeah, right. I shouldn't jump. Alright, this is the part that I was curious about. What is up here? Okay, nothing up here, I don't think. Yeah, not much. Actually, yeah. Only part of all there and uh, nothing much there. Hmm, that's the part of the like, barrels. I have a feeling I haven't been here for too long, have I? Hmm. Curious on what's going on there. Wait. This part? Have I been here before? Oh man, I mean, I think I have been here before, I just got Wow. Absolute kill. Sorry. Okay, again. I feel like I need to quote unquote feel the uh, walk and such. That's an insta skill for that poor spider. That is still a problem, Grudder. Nothing there. Um, yeah. Hmm. I haven't heard this music for too long. I don't think there's anything uh, hidden here, I don't think. Wait, what? Okay, yeah. I love the cripples. They're such a good detail yeah wait okay nothing there huh Do 
seriously wondering on what I missed on this part. Still not sure where it is as well, to be exact. Uh, yeah, I don't think there is anything down there. Oh, yeah, right. Oops. Yeah, those are just uh, crushing, crushing anvils. Or more like uh, stone. You know what, may as well. I was unexpectedly falling here. Better not stay here for too long. Glad I survived that. Wondering what's up here. If there's anything valuable up here in the first place. I haven't been down there for too long either. I don't think it holds any value though because uh, I believe all the wall parts there have been explored. At least to my advantage and such. Wait a Whoa! Wait, 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 why was I... Okay. That's weird. Okay. Uh. Okay. Really need to save. I didn't really trust my capability when it comes to... Uh, Saving myself. Got that part done. Yeah, I don't think there is any more thing here because I think there was that kind of blue onion there as well. So, uh, nothing there too. Right, going up. Uh, Whoops. Part the hollow grove. Really do not believe any of this part, really. Okay, that's close. This is already the part of the Tomfest womb. Huh. Seriously? Wait, what the heck? Wait, seriously, what caused Moon Grotto to be 100% already? What? Okay, excuse me. I refuse to understand what happened there. Was it because I discovered certain areas? Yeah, I clearly don't understand. On what caused Mungrodo to be finally 100%. I did not recall destroying Blue Onion around Mungrodo. Seriously, what did I do there? Uh, yeah, I just don't remember. All I did around Moon Grotto was to get that achievement. And... <laughs> yeah, I seriously don't remember what I did there. But uh, I don't feel like going back to the laser route in order to get to this spirit well, so may as well just gonna get to that uh, spirit well instead. This part's windy. Love it. Oh. Yeah, I'm still regardless gonna just pat my back. 
because at least I did manage to 100% every side of the map. Uh, last but not least, Ramon Horu. That's something that I need to do uh, instantly after this. Oh! Ooh. This part's windy as well. I love it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, finally. Now. Let's go back to the heat that is Mount Horu. And then restore it and get the ending, that kind of thing, you know. Uh, before that though, I'm pretty curious if you can try to exit uh, Mount Horu at the moment. Can we really just not able to return? Is it like way too much there? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, good. I cancelled that. I just forgot to save. This is the most crucial time of all. So do not want to miss any steps when it comes to uh, finishing this game. I'm just curious if ever I can't uh, go here. I mean, I can. But I don't expect to find anything. Oh, God. Wait. Yeah. Nothing around this part. Uh, I think the path, uh, the way back is gonna be uh, way too complicated too anyway, so... Yeah. I'm not gonna question that part then. Ooh, two of you. Yep, two of you indeed. There. Yeah, I'm just gonna return you all there. Oh no, I'm sorry. I'm not interested to deal with you. All right. Le right side done. Left side now. Oh, and it already got defeated without me knowing. So, okay, that's cool. Hold on. Before that, uh, okay, the last uh, life cell. No, life, not life cell. Ability cell resides there. Let's see what we find here. They're getting season hot around this spot. Ooh. Okay. Aha! Uh -huh. Ole! Master of the forest. Because we 100 percent this area by getting that ability cell. And so much for that. We're really getting to the end game drawing this spot. One step closer to Naru. That part lights up. Oh god. Where are we? Oh! No, no, no. Yep. Cannot see my map. This is... Uh, wait, before that though... I'm just gonna save here. Rather than me returning back to the spirit well, because you know, the distance and stuff that I had to go through. Yeah. Quite a creepy place though, to begin with. The music stops. Only ambience. That is the lava. Something's definitely going wrong here. Kinda getting that limbo and inside feeling again. Yeah, I have a feeling I don't want to be around this part because uh, I think it's gonna kill me. So, uh, yeah, it's gonna be for later. And that's it. That's 
なるとさ。The element of form is within our grasp. With the element restored, we could undo the effects of her wrath. Or can we? Oh boy. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, of course. Of course! We need to oh shoot. All right, we just need to do go here. Whoa! Of course, I didn't see that coming. All right, game saved. Uh, okay. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh! I need to focus. <laughs> I'm not. I I have no interest in the uh, joining you lot. But I have interest in escaping. Thank you so much. Wait. Okay. Woo. Oh boy. Go. Woo. Okay, we really should get out. Okay. Oh, boy. Where do we go now? Oh, man. Ouch! Okay, we really should follow the rain, actually. Ouch! Oh boy. Damn. Hmm. I think we really should just climb up. Let's go. Okay, never mind. Oh god. Nope. It's not. Right. I really don't know where I should go with this part. Okay, that's one done. What part am I not seeing? Oh yeah, right. I can just pass this freaking rocks. Go. Let's go, Ori. That's the spirit tree. She left them to burn, though she vanquished my light. Yeah, I'm familiar with this ending, but. Sorry, had to say that. Ori, please get up. Sing. What's up? The spirit tree, it's so close. He's our only hope left. Come on, Ori. You can do it, buddy. We're coming back home, shall we? Oh, man. Gotta say, I love the voice actor. Insane this one. The spirit tree is near. There's one step more to take. The forest of Nibel will live once again. And fly to the spirit tree we are. <gasps> you bastard! No! Kuro was not in the good condition either, actually. Naru! Where's Kumo, Naru?
Oh no. Earth light. Ooh, love, huh? <sighs> Wake up, Ori. Kuro. Come on, Lady All. There's still hope, Lady All. Your son's still alive. Well, at least I think one of them. Yeah, that one. Ah, no, the tree. So, I suppose Kuro decides to give it a shot. Oh my god. And there goes that sacrifice, huh? And rain pours down once again in a bell. The sky brightens once more. That's beautiful. Ali A. Brighton. Really nice voice. Ah, they're back. Ah, that's Kumo and Naru. Thank goodness. <laughs> Kumo. Ah, Tom. Oh, look at that. That is sweet. Ah, right. The egg. Well, that one's gonna continue at the second one, eh? <laughs> Look at that painting at last! That one is touching! <laughs> oh, that's that, folks! Moon Studios really did it! For the first game ever! Yeah, definitely gonna record the second game indeed! The music's just definitely uh, to the top! So, in conclusion, Kuro understood the power of love that Naru gave to Ori. Shit! Sorry! <laughs> the feel got me again, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is the painting that I was talking about. It's so good. Yeah, airily brightened. Holy moly, where should I start with this thing? I'm gonna just let the music slide for the time being. Enjoy your folks. Unity, right?
now the familiar name. There is Austin Wintry there. Ah, the screen shuts down, fades away. Yeah, apparently that's the name that, the only name that I know with that one. Moon Studios would like to thank all the fans of War in the Blind Forest for their continued and heartfelt support. That is so nice. I love that image. <laughs> ah, so that's that for the ending, eh? So if you manage to replay the game, it will bring you back to where you started before you entered that uh, Mount Horu re resto uh, restoration or something like that. So overall, I think I died a lot more than I anticipated. <laughs> Uh, even in the difficulty, easy, uh, easy difficulty as well. Alright, as of the review of this game, holy moly, where should I start? Okay, I've delayed this video long enough that I thought I'd be able to give this game a good personal review before dropping this series for good. Ori and the Blind Forest apparently had gone through super rocky, but fruitful game development as soon as I discovered their behind the scenes stages. There used to be the 2.5D aspect and lots of hidden ideas being developed before the whole gameplay mechanics got finalized. There also happened to be some serious idea in this game too, like I could see some end up being too dark though to be implemented in the game, to the point that they decided to exclude it from the main game experience like <coughs> or is that animation? <coughs> So if you're interested in this kind of behind the scene videos, definitely recommend giving these videos a watch because personally, they increase my appreciation to this game even more. One of the things that caught me off guard is the fact that the sacrifice part was meant to have Naru with her closer shot when encountering Koro Eye on Eye. <laughs> but I guess I'm glad that I was taken off because, <laughs> yeah. Also, this game was named Sane early on. Holy heck. Okay, speaking of appreciation increase, personal experience time. The level of the storytelling with no verbal conversations and reliance on body language expressions? Moon Studios, you got me there big time. Getting myself exposed with some amazing animated short films with little to no verbal conversations, like some notables being Tony Patoa's color films, jealous guy stuff, brings that sense of thirst to interpret what the emoting character is saying. That one got me engaged. I enjoyed every bit of the process. Being able to explore the entirety of Ori and the Blind Forest world is 100% such a good villain. Metrophania tends to offer it really well, at least to when I've played and completed, or maybe because it's on Steam and they have the achievement feature and uh, yeah, that did result me on dying a lot for the sake of getting to the segment I could have returned to. <laughs> oh man, reminding me with that sentry moment, episode 3. Yep, looking at you too, Jinso Tree. Oh no! There's this one that I want to get. It's like... Ah, that's the way. That aside, the art style in this game captivates me enough for me to prolong my stay to enjoy this game. And as a completionist, this game serves a great challenge on achieving it. The animation aspect on both the environment backgrounds and even the characters are so well done. Love always different animation when the uh... Wait, can I ask about Ori's gender or is it too taboo to ask? Is Ori a boy or girl? Ori is a Hebrew name given... Oh, sorry. Ori is a Hebrew given name for males and females. Two more common for males, which means my light. As also a name for Hebrew 
Bibble. A female name with a similar meaning and its sound is Orit. Whoa, hold up a second. Ori has its own meaning? You know, that gender is actually fair enough. Anyway, I love Ori's different animation when I made Ori jump from one point to another simultaneously. Boy, look at the flip! Even for some actions like on when Ori teleports back and forth from one spirit wheel to the other or even as simple as shooting or stomping enemies. They affect the leaves or the surrounding plants too overall. Good goddamn detail. Sound design and music, good. Enough said. Ears are pleased. Moon Studios, Garrett Cocker, you're the boss. Recommend to play the game with hats and on. Uh, I think that's gonna be something that I will always say in every game ever. Because I'm really reliant with my headset when it comes to experience and stuff. But, anyways, yes. Well, I mean, unless you have like some sort of surround by system in your house or something for the extra full surround environment, Phil. I won't talk much about the ability upgrades. That's Another me being less expertise on that because I can understand that the more advanced say the build is, the more expensive it will become when it comes to the ability point purchase. Good enough to split in the skill into three types and three purchase levels. I want to also talk about the other game difficulties since I don't think I'll bother on trying them soon. <laughs> Feels like this is served on one go experience. Well, for now, until hey, I don't know, I'll miss the feeling on completing this game or probably doing another run for missing achievements. Years later, probably, like in the woods. Blackroot Bowers also sets a really nice side journey, which tells about an hour's pass to a uh, really unexpected end to that certain journey. God, I remember it still chills me. That is a sign of Moon Studios really managed to pull you in into the story. Again, minimal conversation in a side story. Sane and the Spirit Tree talk in other language but with lower tone at the most crucial parts, inducing your sympathy with these characters. Oh, no. And now the cons. Oh boy. The control on having dash at control key, the left one especially, uh, to me it's kinda tedious. The config has to be done at the game file instead of the in-game part because I don't think everyone knows it. Thank you Sophie and Steam for providing the information, maybe fix at their second game, who knows. Maps should probably have a pointer about the area I'm not supposed to visit until the next segment of the storyline. No blockages at some of the area kinda made it misleading to my branched out, curious mind of secret areas. Of course, it says the one who just played this game once. <laughs> a replay definitely fixes this issue for sure. This game doesn't have much graphics option setup, sadly. But then there was another form mention and comment. Uh, actually, even Thomas Muller himself did about the assets being handcrafted specifically for that single place, which is actually understandable. It is freaking beauty. Some of Saint's dialogue is actually recycled from the other dialogues, especially when they aren't related to major plot progression. I think it's more like a nitpick, honestly. And yeah, uh, overall, it doesn't really affect my full impression of the game. So, yeah. In conclusion, Ori in the Blind Forest is one heaven of two dimension adventure action experience, which tells you about this creature being an orphan, and then from zero to hero, that kind of thing. And basically, Moon Studios, Gary Cooker, they basically deserve all the awards they've been getting left and right. Their effort definitely pays. Absolutely. Looking forward on playing Ori in the Will of Flip. Oh, shit. I missed that one. Absolutely looking forward on playing Ori and the Will of Beasts eventually, and hoping the runtime mention will be implemented there with controls and such uh, in-game. Uh, yeah, again, probably just a nitpick. Who knows? 
Unrelated to the game, I also did some research and found out that Moon Studios is actually a virtual studio building. They don't have their permanent studio building anywhere, and some of the folks working there just had a chance to meet up at cons like back then at E3 2014 when Orient of Blind Force was introduced. Well, at least to my current knowledge, I don't know about the reason why to do the pandemic stuff, but probably they have made more than once. I honestly respect their dedication on staying that way. It must be a solid teamwork they really did to build this masterpiece right off to the launch day. And that's that. I thank you for listening and watching. Have a good day. Oh my god, get the hell out of here, you silly goat.